Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and we are doing another Rumble Challenge today. Now, yesterday I did the Kvushkov Challenge with all white guns and all white gear, but I had another user ask me to do all white guns and gear, but not to use the Kvushkov because that thing is just a little too overpowered. So, today we're actually hopping in. We're going to use a sniper at first, but depending on the map, I might switch over to a shotgun just because I don't want to try to snipe on a very close range map without having a very good sniper. So let's hop up into this rumble game and see how good I can do with all these white guns. Alright, so we did get Exodus Blue, so I swapped over to a fusion rifle actually because the, the range on my shotgun is quite low. I didn't want to try to risk it because I still have not lost the game on this account. As if you guys watched yesterday's video, I just started this account just because I didn't have the Kabushkov and I also didn't have any white guns either, so I had to just make a new account in order to even do any of these challenges at all. So, this pulse rifle so far is actually quite good. The fire rate is really, really high, but it, the impact is really low as well. Now, luckily, there's not too much recoil, and this fusion rifle is going to come in handy a lot on this map. This thing actually tears through people at very close range, just like almost any fusion rifle would. I actually kind of prefer them more than shotgun in Destiny. I don't know what, why, but some reason I just can't really seem to get the shotgunning down, but I'm always pretty decent with the fusion rifles. And this one just seems to be pretty damn ridiculous. There's already a triple kill right there. I'm honestly getting very surprised by these weapons. I didn't think that they were going to be this good, but this fusion rifle is quite amazing. There we go. We got another kill. I really don't know how I traded with this guy. His juggernaut uh, like got down really quickly, and then I ended up getting that really lucky double melee off. Pretty happy about that. Already pulling ahead with this lead early on in the game. We're only a minute and 50 seconds into the game. Now it really sucks because when you're running all white gear, you have absolutely no intellect and no discipline. So my super and my grenade and my throwing knife take quite a long time to charge back up. However, if I get kills like I am now, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. And hopefully we can get some golden gun kills later on and just tear through these enemies again like we are already. Now my gunslinger isn't leveled up either, so I don't really have anything unlocked on the skill tree at all. This account's actually only a level 10, I believe, right now. And this is like my third or fourth crucible match on this account as well. Now I definitely want to try to get some more special ammo because that fusion rifle definitely just rips through people and with the pace of this game going the way it is, I don't even think we're going to make it to the heavy round. Now remember guys, if you want to see any more Rumble challenges, be sure to leave them in the comments. I do read them all and I do try to get to every challenge at some point or another. Now if you haven't seen any of the other challenges, I've done about 8 or 9 of them at this point. You can check out the playlist down below. I'll leave a link to it in the description and I'll actually have a playlist of every challenge I've done so far. So we've got like Dreg's Promise, we've got Kabushkov. We have the triple fusion rifles, we've got double snipers, we have the no and beyond one sensitivity challenge. A whole bunch of challenges down there, so definitely just be sure to check that out if you want to see any of those. And then once you've seen those, just be sure to let me know any new challenges you guys want me to do. And we're about to go off of them. Now I definitely do miss running the Golden Gun class, that was actually my preferred class in year 1. I only had a Hunter for about the first 9 months of Destiny, way back before I even started up my channel. And then once I got really into it over about around the summertime, I ended up making a new character, my Titan, and then shortly after that making my Warlock as well. I always thought my Hunter would be my main, but then once I saw the Hammer Super in the Take King trailer, I decided right then and there that I was going to just make my Titan my main character from the second that the Taken King came out. I didn't even end up using my Hunter for a very long time, back up until they nerfed the Hammer subclass, and then I finally unlocked Shade Step, and then went along to unlock the Super for the Stormcrawler just about two or three months ago. And I've been using that a lot more often lately because the Stormcrawler Super is just too much fun, and I just, it's always, like, anytime you pop it, everybody just runs away because they know they cannot escape. Now this fusion rifle is still honestly going off like crazy. The range on it isn't exactly the best, but people just keep rushing up on me for some reason, and it's just, it's so much fun just using a fusion rifle, because they see it, and they're just like, they're just, he's not going to kill me, that thing doesn't, it's not going to charge up in time, and then it just disintegrates them. Now we're about to go off again, that's 1805 to 750, we're definitely not going to make it to the heavy here. I'm about to have my golden gun, and let me tell you, we're about to go off again. Oh my 
Ghost. Legend is being forged in fire, Guardian. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. We absolutely destroyed this game. I don't know how or why, but these white weapons seem to be better than even my legendaries on my other account. So we got a 4.4 KD this game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.